wells or cliffs in which you can get airborne from. But uh, there is a team of Houston brothers who has come up with uh, sort of a solution to this problem. David Glad is out with the Livens and I. Cameron, to have a report on that subject. David. Well, we do, and uh, Nick Gregor is one of the brothers who has uh, come up with this idea. I guess you and your brother have uh, perfected this uh, gliding routine with uh, a motor. Uh, what, what prompted the motor? No hills, I guess, would be a good reason. Well, I'm an ex-California pilot, and like you said, there are no hills here in Texas. So you've got to get up somehow, so we use a 12-horsepower motor. Uh, this whole contraption is made of what? Metal, a uh, small motor, and uh, what's, what's, what are the wings made? Okay, uh, the wings are made from a Dacron material in the covering. It's a 1.3-ounce Dacron, and it's a foam and spruce cap strip for the rib. Not exactly cheap, about $1,500, right? It's going to run about $1,575 for the entire So it's expensive. Uh, Gordon Cross is in here getting ready to go. Uh, let me just check with him. Gordon, are you all set? Uh, no problem? I'm ready as I will be. A lot of wind out there. Just a little bit too much, but I think I'm going to make it all right. You've got an astounding uh, record of uh, how, how much flying time? Uh, I'm working on my third hour. Third hour. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of time. We're going to move back while they get ready. I've just seen he just put something in his mouth. What, uh, what is that? Okay, he's putting an automatic kill switch into his mouth. Since the hands are busy, you can't really release from the hands to kill the engine. Okay, so if you've got a problem on your takeoff, you have to be able to die. Okay, we're going to move way back here and have the camera move back also because the noise is so loud. The wind could be a problem here today, is that correct? Yeah, it's going a little bit over 15 miles an hour. Our best is at 12. And the reason we're using Gordon is to show that anybody can fly one of these things. All right, well, we'll see what happens. There he goes. You give us a play-by-play. -play. Well, he's in a stall takeoff right now. He's going to keep trying. He's turned away from the wind. He may be able to get up, but I'm not sure. There he goes. He's stalled again. This should prove interesting. Like I said, he's a very low-time pilot. All right, now, he is controlling it there as he moves, all the turn. Well, he's giving it a heck of a try. He's drifting uh -oh, the down. The wind is drifting it over towards the road there. That's right. He should be okay. He's out over Holly right Hall. You can see that he's trying to turn it back here. Uh -oh. uh, he is having a little bit of a problem, though, isn't he? Well, it's awfully windy out there for a low it's time. awfully dangerous day. there. He's up over the road. No, he's uh, cleared the road. If he killed the engine right now, he'd be completely clear of everything. He may be going ahead and coming in for a landing. I'm not real sure what he's going to do. Uh, he seems to have gotten control there again. He's moving around, right. making a turn, coming right back towards us now. You can see the Astrodome there. Uh, he's doing real, real well for the wind conditions we've got here, especially for a low-time pilot like that. What's the feeling when you're up there? Uh, there's nothing that you can use to describe it. Nothing at all. That's the most fun that there is in the world. Okay, now he's got his feet up and he'll be under complete control. Boy, he is just did real nice, real nice. He's just moving along. How long can you stay up there? Well, uh, the world record on the thing right now is 14 hours. I wish he'd come back so we could ask him his impressions, but I... Well, uh, hopefully he'll come back around and circle in for a landing, although with the wind conditions like they are, he may not fly downwind on this. Now, what are... The, I mean, there got to be some dangers. Let's be realistic, but I know you're trying to sell these things, but sure. there are some dangers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the fact is that the aircraft is uh, reasonably stable. You need a lot of practice and flying time at lower altitudes before you go up and do something like this. I wish he'd, uh, now he, his, his aim is to come back where he started? Well, I imagine that his aim's going to be to go ahead and get as much control as he can, swing back around here over to the right, and then come in for a landing. David, I was... Trying to gain some go ahead, Doug. Go ahead. Is it a full power on fly all the time? Is the power always on? Is the power always on, or do you ever cut the power, Doug's asking? Oh, no. You'd cut the power as soon as you hit 1,000 feet and then start looking for thermal. Well, he looks like he is over loop 610 almost. He, he probably is. The glider's got a 10 to 1 glide ratio, so he can kill the engine from where he is right now and glide at least 1,000 feet. David? Go ahead, Jim. How high can they fly in those? About how high is the highest he can go in one of these? Well, uh, the service ceiling on the aircraft is 11,000 feet. 11,000 feet. I think that's a little higher than I'd want to be, uh, mm -hmm. even in a very small helicopter. <laughs> and this thing uh, certainly is less than that. David? Well, uh, Go ahead, Jan. I would think you'd want to do this away from any kind of high, high I would power think so, lines. Too. Away from power lines, yeah. right? 
Well, you try to fly in an area that's away from the power line. Is he having trouble turning that thing back? Because we can hardly see him now, but I'll tell you, he's a long... Now, here he comes back towards us, right? No, he has no problem controlling it here in the air. After he's got some altitude, he's got all the control he needs. What kind of uh, problems do you have with the uh, law enforcement, the federal aeronautics people, and so forth? On okay, right now, the FAA is not regulating these aircraft. Uh, the United States Hang Gliding Association is. Uh, what we're doing is trying to cooperate with the Federals and keep the sport unregulated by them. Or in other words, the necessity for A&P licenses. This is an experimental aircraft. I think we ought to stay with us until we get them back on the ground safely, if that's all right with you back in the station there. Hey, but I... You can start to hear him. Now, we, uh, of course, hope he makes a... keeps catching him. Here he comes. He just cut the engine. The engine is cut. The engine is cut. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. The engine is cutting. Yeah! 